the number of detainees during uprising is at least 8,000. The massive and widespread arrests of youth in different cities, which have started since the beginning of the uprising on December 28th, still continues. According to reports obtained from inside Iran and from within the regime, the number of arrestees has mounted to at least 8,000 by the end of the second week of the uprising. In recent days, several of these prisoners were martyred under torture, the Secretariat of the National Council of Resistance of Iran announced in a statement on January 11, 2018. The Iranian resistance called on all the people, especially the youth, to support the arrestees and their families and to rise up for the release of prisoners. It also called on the Security Council and the Secretary General of the UN, the European Union and the member states and the US government, as well as all human rights organizations, to strongly condemn the Mullah's regime for these blatant anti-human crimes and to adopt effective measures to free the arrestees. Teachers' Union Lambasts Endemic Mismanagement in Iran Widespread protests against rising prices, poverty, unemployment, discrimination and inequality are the outcome of mismanagement by state officials and the three branches of the government, Iran's Teachers' Trade Union's Coordination Council, TTUCC, has announced. In its official statement published on social media app Telegram, TTUCC has also noted, Untenable management at different levels, improper and illogical planning, as well as widespread abuse of official positions and national structures are the reasons behind people's recent uprising. Moreover, according to the statement, legitimate protests by workers and teachers were met by dismissals, lashings, and prison. Treasury Secretary says new Iran sanctions are coming as administration faces another deadline on nuclear deal. The Trump administration said Thursday that it plans additional sanctions on Iran that are separate from those covered under the international nuclear deal with Iran, an indication that President Trump is unlikely to break the 2015 deal now. The president's top national security advisors met with Trump on Thursday afternoon at the White House ahead of a deadline Friday for the president to again exempt Iran from a suite of tough economic sanctions imposed years ago. Announcement of the decision was expected Thursday night or Friday morning. If those sanctions are reimposed, the U.S. would violate the deal brokered by his predecessor that lifted sanctions in exchange for a rollback of Iran's nuclear development program. You're going to be finding out very soon, Trump said Thursday when asked about Iran. You'll be finding that out very soon, he said. <laughs>